Well, our first day at St. Lucia off the beach proved to be quite challenging, considering the amount of anglers and the few fish that came out was evident that the fish aren't really around. Dean suggested that we go take on the harbour, which probably will also be a challenge considering that the paddle ski Gary competition was fished over the weekend, with 72 paddle skis and only two Garrick landed. But it was Monday morning and there was a chance, and that's enough for me. Oh, <laughs> you see, these are the proper proper mozies, eh? That's the big guy we were talking about. That's the one. Yeah. Well, that's the one we're using for big. Now, this is really a magical way of targeting Gary, being able to use lighter equipment, a lighter rod and reel and, and even your braid setup to target them. That brings the true fight in these fish to light. Eventually there was no shortage of live bait. All right now with the Marzi, I just uh, hook it with a circle look through the nose, 7 -0 tuna, mustard circle. And uh, a Garrick normally grabs its food from, from the head. So you just hook it through the mouth there, and that should work. It works for me. And while we are waiting for, we're putting one, we've got two nice mozzies, which is the right bait, if you don't have razor bellies. Apparently. This is all <laughs> Dean's info, eh? It's not mine. But you listen to the oaks. Whose house you carrying it? We'll put one or two hooks with bait and the rest will climb up. But Dean says, yeah, it's better to rather put the bait. And of course it does work better with bait in any case. It's just when there's a lot of bait fish out deep, don't even bother. But so far this morning the bait fish have been scarce. Should be okay. Drop straight, yeah. No, yeah, it's deep here. Yeah. Seventeen meters. Is that feet or meters on your fish line? Meters. Oh, hey, that's a good hey, one. There we go. That's a shad. That's what we're looking for, guys. Ah, you cheat. <laughs> Here you go. What is it? That's nice, this little estuary rods, the Kingfisher Eclipse estuary. Hey, Mose, Chad, Mose. Hey, you lost something, eh? Okay, so Andre hooks it through the through the mouth. I just put a cable tie through the top. Close that one. With the cable ties, they die. You reckon? Uh, through the eyes. Yeah. Yeah, mine. Uh, they die. No oh, man. The carotene down. Maybe the carotene. I don't know. Just close that cable tie. And then hook. There. There's still something big coming through under the boat. Zambo. Uh, yeah, hello. Let's go. We've got a little ball sinker there. If I can get it out. So you've got a ball sinker, you've got a bead, pass over, 
0 0.70 mono and there's your shad with a circle look on the nose perfect so this one will just drop under the boat and then later on we'll put a balloon out as well just chuck that there so we try and keep it at least about four to five meters that's about ideal because the garrick feeds on top so we'll come up and charge right next to the boat often when you get a get a bite with the garrick there we go oh no that's the mozzie being so strong <laughs> Still the tip going. nice go move it put it yay nice fish So everything was in line and the latest method Dean and them are using was put to the test. We used to use the balloon method for tuna, but on the estuaries I've never used them for Garrick. And as evident, this method proved to bring the results. I could definitely not complain about the size of this Garrick and was really chuffed. What a good opponent that gave me a really fantastic fight. Can you grab it? Proper. Yeah, come here. Come here. Yeah. There we go. Hey. <laughs> hey. PB. Hey, hey, hey. What a beautiful fish. Hey, look at that. Lateral line. This is what they use to sense uh, any movement in the water and hunt with. But such a pretty fish. The prince of the sea. I'm gonna let this one quickly. I'm gonna check the check this one. Hey! Come fight someone else. Make someone else's midnight morning. Jump in the water, man. There we go. Look at that guys. There we go. Thank you very much. Thank you. In your backyard, man. Yeah, yeah. That's your game. That's the spot. All in all, a great day on the water, and I definitely can't complain about my result. The rest of the morning produced no bites, and we kept ourselves busy on the smaller fish. Tyron, the cameraman, even got stuck into some smaller sharks on ultra light tackle. Should you ever want to go to St. Lucia, I definitely recommend the new revamped Hippo Lodge. Catering for families, couples and even singles with an on-premises restaurant as well as different options on safaris and river tours.